Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Simon from BizLearn again. Hi and welcome to another NXCAD Secrets tutorial. Today I want to talk about face normals concerning trim body functions. And therefore I'm going to create something that I can trim to. And create such a simple line from my bottom to my top. Can we trim within the extrude? Yes, we can by using the until next thing, but therefore I should use it within this extrude and create this first, which I do not really like because this is my main body here and this has to be created first. So this is not an option for me. What you can do is of course use your face blend as I showed you in the oil tank video a couple of days ago, which I'm gonna link to the upper right now. There I've used the face blend to trim my bodies, which is really cool. But if you do not need a face blend, or if you do not want to use face blend, I can understand that you would maybe prefer this one trim body. Choose your target first, and then your tool like this. And you can see there's a direction which you can reverse. It's the inherited face normal of this planner face. What happens if I modify my sketch now? Let's have a look. I go into my sketch and I'm gonna delete this line and create a new line from my top to my bottom. Everything seems fine until now. The direction of my trim body has flipped. Well, not the direction of my trim body, the direction of the line I have created within the internal sketch of my extrude was different. The first line was created from the bottom to the top and the second line I've created from the top to the bottom. And that makes a difference. So the face normal of your extrusion in case of creating a sheet body, because this is a sheet body, it's not a solid body, is depending on the direction of your line. So even this line has a kind of direction. It line always has a start point and an end point or the other way around. Let's create something else like this. What will happen to my trim body? I'd say it's gonna break. You can see it failed and that's clear because there is no intersection. Maybe you had some of these cases before. Maybe you had the case of face normal switching because of creation of new lines that had different directions. Well, you could have repaired it in here. There is a possibility to reverse your direction. You can see the direction here and you can reverse it easily in newer versions of NX like that to repair your trim body. But nevertheless, how can we handle such a situation? We would have to modify this one as well. And this is something I want to avoid. I want one modification and not several modification if values change. What you can do is not using your trim body. You can use replace and you can find it below synchronous modeling. I know this is a tool people are not going to use because of its magic, but it is associative. Why not? It also has pretty, pretty cool selection rules like feature faces, however, which allow you to create something really stable. You just have to define which face you want to replace. So it's not a relation to an overall target body, it's a target face. It's completely the other way around compared to trim body. And I'm gonna replace it by a body like this. And the cool thing now is if you modify your sketch, and it is actually, is already modified. Of course, if you have an intersection, you can see it's still gonna work. The replacement and another cool thing that I like is if you move it apart from your body like this. So there is no chance of having an intersection right now. You can see it is still working. So replace face allows you a much more flexible way of modeling. And let's have a look at the edge blend selection rule now. It's not a feature intersection edge. I have expected to have a feature intersection edge being created as we would have when using trim body. And it is a trim as well. So it's nothing else but a trim. It's just a little bit more flexible. But anyway, there is a selection rule you can use. It's called outer edges of faces concerning to your, well, not concerning to this face. If I do that, 
I have a relation to one face. You have to relate it to a feature. I show you why. I'm just gonna modify this again. And you will see everything's fine beside the edge blend. The reason is I have related it to a single face and you can see it was moving. And there is a possibility to relate it to all of the replace face objects. It's just one click on replace face instead in the part navigator or in the graphics area. That's pretty cool because many people don't expect a possible relation to a feature beside the relations to faces, but it is possible, no problem. And if you modify your sketch now, you will see that everything will maintain. But anyway, I'd like to create some blends in here as well. And I'm gonna modify Max Druid as well. And you can see everything maintains. Pretty, pretty cool. Replace face is my favorite compared to trim body. I usually do not use trim body because it's not necessary at the way I'm modeling things. But if I have a need for a trim, I prefer using replace because of its magic. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something maybe. And maybe you think about using replace instead of trim body in the future let me know in the comment section if you have an additional question let me know in the comment section if you have an alternate better solution for trimming things let me know in the comment function like my video if you like it and subscribe to my channel because i'm uploading tons of videos in a week and in the future i will be talking about freeform modeling stuff and any sketch secrets that people that even had training in freeform modeling don't usually know. Have a nice day. Goodbye.